on Wednesday. All right, Kendall, thanks. It's time for our pet of the week, and our vet is here to answer your questions. We welcome back Dr. Paul Welch from Forest Trails Animal Hospital. And this week, he has Howdy Rowdy with him. Howdy. I love that name. Tell us yep. about Howdy Rowdy. Howdy's about probably 10 years old plus. An older and dog. He's an older dog, just a very nice guy. He's got some scabs on his nose, and that's from kind of sticking noses through the bars ah, there at the guy. animal shelter. Those they all heal up. But he just. He said, I don't see real well. I've got a cataract <laughs> in my left eye, and I'm looking for a retirement home. <laughs> he's looking for so, a nice home. He's so, a nice fella, just wants a quiet home. Yep, if you want to adopt him, call the Animal Rescue Foundation at 6025962 or visit their RF house at La Fortune Park during the hours on your screen. You can also visit newsonsix.com slash pets for other pets who need to be adopted. Like every week, we have some questions, so let's Absolutely. get started. Sounds the first good. one is from Tessa. She writes that her dog Elvis is about to turn 14 next month and is developing cataracts. She wants to know if there is something else she can do other than surgery to alleviate the cloudiness or at least pause the progression of them so that Elvis does not need to undergo anesthesia. Okay, one of the things you always want to pay attention to is, is it cataracts or is it what they call nuclear sclerosis? Nuclear sclerosis is a normal aging where the lens becomes cloudy, but you can see through it and this is the need for bifocals. So it happens to dogs at about eight, happens to people at about 40. And uh, um, Rowdy here has a cataract in one eye, has nuclear sclerosis in the other. So in that situation, that's normal, and your veterinarian can tell you yay or nay on which one it is. Cataracts are abnormal protein deposits in the eyes. And if you get those, really, surgery is the only thing that you can do to uh, uh, take care of that, and it's a matter of being removed, and there's several veterinary ophthalmologists in the state and in uh, Tulsa for that sort of thing. But remember, it happens very slowly. So most of these guys slowly start memorizing your house. So if a person doesn't have the money to take care of cataracts, you can, you know, they do get along okay. Okay. Our next one is from Laura. She has a cat question. She writes about her 10-month-old female cat and says, all of a sudden this week, she's acting weird and making weird noises. She's screaming, I think. I assume she's in heat, and since she's inside only, is this going to stop? Does she need to go to the vet? Oh, boy. When you start getting the row type, uh, you know, uh, the noises and the rolling around on their back and everything like this, that's usually cats in heat. One of the problems with cats is they can stay in heat for a couple of months. So wow. I'm afraid you're going to be crazy by the time this ends. Uh, this is something where if she hasn't been spayed, I really would suggest call the veterinarian, schedule that, and make your life a lot easier because you don't need to go through this twice a year. Definitely. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. Being inside, you're still going to have issues. Right. Okay. Last question is from John. He writes that my dog has a large bump in between his toes near his paw. Could this be a cyst or something more? The four things I think about are either a foreign body, you know, a little grass on between there, and it's going to be very painful if that's the case. You can have little uh, interdigital cysts, which aren't dangerous. You can have bacterial interdigital pyoderma, which is a bacterial infection um, in between the toes, or you can have a tumor. Your veterinarian ought to be able to tell which one you've got going on. Three of those are not dangerous. One of them is, uh, like I say, some it's just antibiotics. Uh, sometimes it's just probing and getting it out, and sometimes you need to do surgery. So go get that checked out. Sometimes they can just cut it out real easily. Yeah, so. sometimes, that, okay. sometimes you can remove it. Sometimes it's just antibiotics and it takes okay. care of it. Perfect. Dr. Absolutely. Welch, thank you so much. And howdy, rowdy. You yeah. can, if you have questions for Dr. Welch or any of the doctors we have,